Just... Oh, oh, that's adorable. Look, it's a little pirate flag. It's so cute. Oh, I just want to cuddle it. Not really. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I just I'm making a joke, and I just end up making myself feel awkward. It's just ador It's an adorable little thing. It's like it's it's like you know doing a love heart on top of a, an eye, or drawing a little pirate flag instead, and on top of the eye instead of the dot. You know, it'll tell you, Roger. It's adorable. But um, I think yeah, there's basically a ton of big movies. Like I was saying, most of the Star Wars movies, Citizen Kane. I figured that's a great one. Um, mean Girls. I haven't seen that. I've seen the Casablanca, but it's been quite a while. Quite a while indeed. Also, I did get to see uh, Cowboy Bebop. It's not a some great movie, but it is. Well, it does have a great movie, but I did get to see the TV, uh, the uh, series of it, and that it was pretty damn good. Christ, they really, it really left you wanting more. It, it was really, really good. Uh, finale. So sad when um, I don't want to say any. I don't want to spoil it on anyone, but the I, I I'm not going to say I'm sorry. Uh, I would finish that talk, but I don't want to spoil anything. Just go watch the series. Uh, go watch it. If you haven't, go watch it. Um, I need to, go, and there is a movie to go see it when you're done. I need to go see it myself. Um, I've seen a few clips of it, and it, it it's cool. It's good. Um, so yeah. Um, need to go see if I can get it on DVD or something. But anyway, uh, vigor uh, increases maximum energy by 50 and energy regen by 10, which is very tempting. This gives you ten. Uh, give, gives you a max of ten combo points. That's nice. That's actually tempting. But um, I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, basically, there's a ton of big name movies that, that are like staples that are you know big names in American movie. Uh, in uh, big names in the movie industry that I just haven't flat out seen yet. Um, I probably will someday, but not yet. Yancey Grilson. Yar, you made a good decision, lad. Darby just one thing. Yancey hears things. A few of me hardies were pretty deep in their cups when they told me about some Morgan Rogue that came, Morgan Rogue that came a rolling through the Southern Command, looking for charts and orders. Even ran a few of good old part, a, a couple of good old parts through here. Like I said, drop through their eyeballs and grogs. Grin grog, but still, Buccaneer's gotta trust his ears. So I've just got one small task for ye. Or uh, one sent down from Pharaoh on him himself. Bring me the head of Fleet Master Seahorn. See you later. Hey there. Pharaoh on special order this one himself, said the Torrent's too much of a risk. Hopefully this works. I like to get a chance to speak like a pirate. Yar me hearties. Yo, uh, bilge me timbers. He the, uh, pirate set of the brothel. Uh. Yeah, we'll just go to uh, back to Booty Bay and, um, we'll wrap up talking to the, uh, Seahorn. Well, Pal and I has killed them several, several times. Sadly, we don't have any of the heads from those deaths, so can't use them. Jolly Roger. What a name. How the fuck did it even get that name? Must be an ironic one. I swear, you know, uh, this tunnel here in Moody Bay used to dismount you. I swear I have memories of that. But, you know, memories, they can be easily faked. Uh, yeah, you know, um, you start 
Wait, what? Hmm. All right. Um, you start to like re uh, misremembering events and um, take you like. You start mis. Uh, I can't word this right at all. Yeah, basically, you start misremembering events. They start playing out differently in your memory than they actually did, or maybe some you remember something happening that didn't. You know, memories can be botched. Though he had defeated all of the people he so now saw as his enemies, Artis was still haunted by the ghost of Kalfazad. The ghost told Artis that he needed to be revived for the next phase of the Witch King's plan. To revive him, Artis needed to bring Kalfazad's remains to the mythical Sunwell, hidden within the High Elves' eternal kingdom of Kalthalas. Artis and his scourge invaded Kalthalas and laid siege to the Elves' crumbling defenses. Sylvanas Windrunner, the ma Ranger General of the Silver Moon, put up a valiant fight. But Artis eventually eradicated the High Elf army and battled through to the Sunwell. The cruel gesture is the of his dominance even raised Sylvanas' defeated body as a banshee, cursed uh, to endless on death in the service of Kalthalas' uh, conqueror. But though what really raised her spirit, uh, the body was se uh, you know, separated from her. I remember, what, wasn't her body tortured while she wasn't in it or something? Like, it was, I swear I remember hearing that it was, like, slapped into an Iron Maiden. I honestly can't remember. Um, I remember I was, uh, in the Legion episode, I'm saying that there was a, um, a, a quote from an Ara Call follower of the light that said that the followers of the light have to purge non-believers. It was in, like, Terkar Forest in Outland. I can't find that quote now, at all, and I swear I remember seeing that. It's fucking annoying me. But yeah, um, I've actually lost my train of thought there for a moment. But yeah, maybe it's just me fudging memories. Um, let me rephrase that. I, do, I read it online, so maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I'm misremembering what I read. So, uh, I remember I was bitching about some al what some author said. Uh, I kind of misremembered what he said. I was really annoyed at what I was reading, so I kind of um, misremembered it in my in anger. So maybe I'm misremembering this in my interest. I have no idea, but. Um, Yeah, if you're interested, you're gonna have to look it up yourselves. Just the Sylvanas Windrunner, Sylvanas Windrunner entry on um, the Wow Wiki or Wowpedia will probably give you the answer. The other one, I've already looked into it, and I've nobody idea. I might need to swing by um, Outland for a bit on Power Night to go investigate. Ultimately, artists submerged Kalfazad's remains within the holy waters of Sunwell. Although the potent energies of eternity were fouled by this act, Kalfazad was reborn as a sorcerer's leech. Resurrected as a far more powerful being, Kalfazad explained the next phase of the Lich King's plan. By the time Artis and his army of the dead turns outward, a one living elf remained in Kalfazad's the glorious homeland of the High Elves, which stood for more than 900,000 years, was no more. 90% of the high elf population was decimated. So, yeah. That's why they renamed themselves Blood Elves. It's kind of in honor of the Fallen. Though not all of them have renamed themselves. And this is actually a real interesting way of handling it. By getting this quest, seeing where your loyalties lie, it triggers this other quest to happen in reference to it, rather than having it as a separate stage of this quest. Interesting. Farallon wants my head, and oh, that's interesting, but it's something we can't work around. The Sansi character probably doesn't know my face too well. Most torn, not most non torn find us torn and indistinguishable, indistinguishable from one another. In fact, not most non torn find us indistinguishable from a certain four legged farm animal. Rix is the, far, uh, the letter worker, keeps one of those creatures in Booty Bay. And Rick, uh, Narek is my chief supplier for pirate hats. Uh, get a replacement head and hat. And then f return with both. So, I 
I'll just go do this head a bit, which is awfully depressing. Um, and I'll uh, then call quits. Um, wrong building. And the other lady still doesn't have a thing for me. I swore she would have given me another quest by now, but... She, I wonder, does she even give you anything else? I think it's this building. Wrong one. Oh, also, here's, remember, I was rescuing those robot chickens on uh, Fedora car? That's the guy I talked to. Oglethorpe opted noxious. Time is money, friend. Oh, we can get some uh, blue recipes for blue gloves. Interesting. Bossy. Uh, bossy looks at you with large, liquid black eyes. Moo. Bossy lowers her head nobly, almost as if she understands the gravity and the meaning of her request. Chicken out. She breathes a heavy sigh of relief. I, I've... I know, I know it's a fictional animal, but it's just like, oh, it's someone's pet cow, you know? Just the concept of it, I'm giving it more life in my head than is actually there, you know? I, it just... Like, a me like, subconsciously just think, you know, probably equating it with, you know, someone doing it, like, like, I have a pet dog called Lily, you know? You know, probably subconsciously equating it with something like that happening. Well, I know, it's fictional, it just, you know, I just subconsciously start jumping those lines and it just gets depressing. Like, I could watch a movie, see a hundred people die, it's, oh, well, the animal gets hurt, it's like, fuck it, they will kill the bastards. You know, it's just a bleeding heart. So. Bossy, I need to ask something great of you. I need to cut off your head to prove my loyalty to Blood Silver Buccaneers, so they'll allow me to infiltrate their ranks and hopefully discover their true intentions. Booty Bay needs you, Bossy. Now mo now more than ever. She lowers her head nobly, almost as if she understands gravity the meaning of your request. Do the deed. The resemblance is there, which is funny if, if, until you get that quest when you're playing as a Tauren, I would imagine. And there's Christy Logan. Huh. I have no idea. Is she... I, I, oh no, I just swear she... I. The name is rings a bell with me. Who's that? Crick Keencraft. Yeah, it's guy in this building here. Come on. Don't want to fall in the water, that'll be tedious. Narek, pirate supplies. I need an extra large pirate hat. Seahorn's orders. Tell him this is. <laughs> uh, tell him this is the last one. It breaks poor Narek's heart. To, to have to carve uh, horn holes in his beautiful hats. But, um. Yeah, I, I do feel silly being, uh, like, not upset. That feels too strong, but, you know, down over stuff like, like you know, what a, the thing with Bossy there. I do feel silly about that, but it's just like I was saying. It just. Like the. Well, I know it's fictional, it's just like. It take um, how did I phrase it before? My mind gives it more depth to it than it actually is. I start subcon maybe I'm subconsciously equating it with my own pets that I care deeply for, or um, it's just generally I just don't like the idea of someone's pet getting hurt. It's one thing if it's like a oh, vicious wolf for. You know, whatever, but if, like in Witcher, you get a quest to go kill a few dogs to get dog tallow. I was disappointed because the dogs just collapsed sadly. 
Like they're not some fearsome adversary, it's just like a sad, you know, feral dog. I mean, not even feral's invasions, it was just wandering the streets. Feral's the wrong word, it's just a stray. You know, it's just. Uh, it's just sad, you know? Like I said, I feel silly, but it's just. We, I'm bleeding hard. I just. Uh, feel bad about that kind of thing. Uh, here's the head and the hat, sweet master. This looks good. This looks good, but I think it'll look even better if we beat it up a little, you know, and it's so the illusion of a fight. What do you think? You're a boss. Farewell. Hey, Baron, go on. <laughs> That'll do. Um. And it's, it, it, it is actually f the, uh, that's actually a rather unique icon for the cow head there. N n uh, frequently you'll see reused icons in different things, but I've never seen that used anywhere else. You know, you should know that most horn would find this shameful. I find it amusing. Also, they really could have done those animations up a bit better. Like the bag was flying before they would kick, and in one case he ain't look at me, kicked, and the bag went that way. It was, it was done really weirdly. It was very janky, but it's only a, a minor little detail. But still, it, it was a little weird. That should feel the, the, uh, the blood so dimwit. This was fun, Gogorod. Good night, sweet queen. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Bring that back up to Yancey by the waterfall. The ignorant human will have no idea that it's not me. And on that note, folks, I've stayed awake way too long. I need to go get some sleep. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this series so far. I'll be back soon to record some more. If there's anything you would like to tell me, as, you know, shockingly, uh, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. And shocking, I probably phrase that comment there. Uh, I meant to say, you can leave a comment, shockingly enough, in the comment section below.